Hey, this is Jared with Zenic, and in this video, we're going to show you how to swap out the standard eye bolt from your ground blind and replace it with a Zenic hub coupler. You're only going to need a couple of little tools, uh, either a small crescent wrench or an open end 3 8 inch end wrench. Either one will do it. What you're going to find on the inside of the hub is going to be a 3 8 inch nut that you're going to take that off as the first step. Once you take the 3 8 nut off, you're going to find a big flat washer on the on the inside of the hub. Take that off as well. You'll need it later. After that, you're going to thread the standard eye bolt all the way out of the hub. At this point, you're going to go ahead and thread the Zenic hub coupler back in where you just removed the eye bolt. You're going to want the small end of the hub coupler to go on the inside of the ground blind and the longer end with the tie down on the outside of your ground blind. You'll notice that the coupler comes with a bunch of pre-installed washers on them. In order to install the, the coupler properly, you're just going to want to separate the washers in half. Half of the washers go on the inside, half go on the outside, and they do need to stay in the order that they are there because there is a lock washer on the inside and outside to make sure that the part stays in place once you've installed it. Most of the hub washers have some little indexing nodules and you're going to want to make sure that those go back to the inside of the hub and the big flat surface goes on the actual surface that faces you inside the blind. As the part starts to come tight, if your washer does have those indexing marks on the inside, you may have to pivot it a little bit to make sure that it seats flush inside the hub again. You're going to snug that down until it bottoms out super tight. Then, like I said, you're going to take the two washers that are on the outside Put the flat washer on the inside first and the lock washer is going to be against the bigger part of the hub, hub coupler. You'll also notice that there's a slight chamfer, a little rounded edge, and then there's a very flat sharper edge. The flat sharper edge goes in against the fabric and the nice smooth rounded chamfer goes on the outside facing away from the blind. And again, you're gonna crank that down super tight you can actually use the rope itself and whatever tool you selected to do the job with to crank it down super snug. Once it's completely installed, you'll still have a tie down location to be able to stake the blind down in windy conditions, but you'll also have a mounting location for your mini mount on the outside of the hub and you're going to have one on the inside in this shorter little piece that is on the inside of the hub. Once the hub coupler is installed, the mini mount will quickly and easily install into it and create a great location for you to be able to capture your hunt on film. In this case, I'm going to install the universal smartphone adapter so that I can use my cell phone to capture the hunt. The entire process only takes about three minutes and again, almost every ground blind on the market has that standard eye bolt. So if you want to check it out and get yourself a great way to capture the hunt on film, be sure to check out the Zenic Hub Coupler. And for more information, visit the website at huntzenic.com.